nice to meet you. Could you just uh, first yes. state your name and, and your, your role? Yeah. Uh, I'm Graham Hill and I'm um, the head coach of Swimming South Africa. Okay. Could you just just describe what does that mean? What do you what are you responsible for in terms of the, the swim team, national swim team? Okay, well, I, basically the responsibility for me is uh, to ensure that the, the high performance program, the national team basically and, and the junior team uh, fall under me, uh, plan uh, the year's events and uh, where the training camps will be, if we're having any training camps and what competitions and, and what we'll be swimming in. So okay. it's quite okay. a broad scale. And can you describe what you're doing here at Aspital with the team? Yeah, we're here at Aspital now, um, second year for, for me and some of the swimmers. Uh, we're basically doing an altitude camp where we are living high and training low. Uh, it really appealed to me, uh, that aspect of, of the training, uh, because, uh, you know, altitude training is not an uncommon thing, but um, it's normally living high, training high. And yeah, uh, given the opportunity to live high and, and, and train low, yeah. I just believe it, it's it's more beneficial in that I can uh, really work the, the, the swimmers really hard, uh, mm. or, or a lot harder than you can work them when, they, when they're swimming at altitude. Yeah. So uh, I like that aspect, and I, and I like to be able to be, uh, keep in touch with that speed and that, that hard work instead of losing a bit of it uh, when we're up at altitude. And so this is your second year. Did you do you think you saw an improve in performance, improvement in performance generally after doing the same uh, services last year? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we came here last year with seven swimmers, and uh, you know we went on. We we always go on to a Monostrum series after this, and uh, we went on to a Monostrum series, and all the swimmers really excelled. I mean, some of them dropping two, three seconds off their best times uh, in, in of really hard work, but coming from the altitude, uh, living high, and uh, I see the benefits and. Uh, some of them went on to perform really well at uh, the Commonwealth Games later on. So, um, yeah, absolutely. And could you just summarise why did you choose Aspatar over any other facility or any other location that you could have chose? Well, uh, if you just look at the facilities for a start, I mean, uh, the swimming pools, the, the, the actual accommodation and, and, and just the whole setup, it just, uh, I think it's one of the best setups in the world. So, you know, it's a no-brainer for us to come here. Uh, if you were to, to describe Aspatar in three words, what three words would you use? Sure, I can give it to you in one word. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. It's professional, uh, accommodating, and uh, awesome. Awesome. And m looking forward, do you plan to continue this this relationship? You you plan to come in future years? Yeah, I think we still have a, another year ahead of us uh, with the relationship with Aspatar and. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we hope to use that and, and who knows, maybe we can further the relationship uh, uh, ongoing because I really do believe that the swimmers will benefit. Uh, um, you know, and not just only about the, the altitude training and that, which is the major thing, but just the facilities mm -hmm. and, and the way we looked after you. Uh, nowhere in the world have we, we received this kind of uh, treatment before, so it's, it's been really great. And you've obviously had a great experience in Qatar generally in, in December in terms of the championships. Yeah, you know, um, it's been really good to us. Uh, you know, we've come here before for World Cups. You know, we've had World Cups before, but obviously we had World Championships now in December. And, and you know, it's been great for us. Yeah, it's, it's a happy hunting ground for us. 